main event at stake the vacant WLC middleweight championship, Michael Badano. 2-2 without a doubt made his name here in Myanmar in left wee. The bell in round, round number one. one. With Joe Wilk, I'm Sean Wheelock. Glad that you are with us watching around the world. WLC3 legendary champions. Here we go with our main event. Blue trucks for Michael Badado, red trucks for 2 2. Head kick from 2 2. Low kick from Badado. You see the feints, Joe, from 2 2. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, early on, you can see him using his eyes to try to fake out Badato, looking down at his legs and then trying to kick high, you know, using some tricks in here. Tutu is a very experienced fighter. And again, you know, under these rule sets, has a lot more experience than Badato. So we'll see if that plays a part in tonight's fight. Much more open striking stance, hard outside kick from Badato. You see the bounce in the stance, really a contrast in footwork early on. Just what we expected, respective backgrounds of these two fighters. Stiff jab. Dotto landing well from the outside early on. 110 gone, round number one. Three punch combination from 2 2. Nothing getting through, at least not yet. Another outside kick from Badato, targeting the legs on those low kicks. Two missing with that left hand over the top. Good movement thus far from Badato. Yeah, Badato's having success from the outside, similar to what we saw in the co-main event here, but we'll see if Tutu takes that range from him here shortly. Kick caught, right hand ruled as a slip. Badato right back to his feet. A kick not through, counter low kick. Tutu looking to the body, then the left hook to the head. A kick over the top for Michael Badato. Dotto working off of the jab. Booked in the kick, right hand just misses from 2-2. Left hand from 2-2, that found the mark. Faint by Badato. Badato Joe, early stages, trying to take this fight to 2-2. Yeah, and he's trying to make it his style of fighting too, you know. So far, we haven't seen very much clinch work. Tutu not taking advantage of the headbutt rule here and, and is engaging in mostly just a, a, a regular kickboxing fight without the gloves here against a world champion in Badato. Badato again pressing forward, head kick not getting through. 15 seconds remaining round number one of our main event. To the winner of this fight is the WLC middleweight title, Michael Badato versus Tutu. The bell, we are heading to round two. Good first round, good opener, very even. There we see 2-2 timing the kick, catching it, using the punch to send Badato to the ground. Not ruled a knockdown though. An exchange of jabs there, both guys landing. Nice left hand. Good combination there from two to lands the left hook, right hand over the top, finishes with the knee to the body. There we see Padato mostly getting out of the way there, but still good offense from two to coming forward. Close round, not a lot of clinch work. Probably gonna go to two to though. Landed a little bit more of the shots, but a very good opening round for Michael Padato.
turn this up. Nobody's stopping now. Nobody's giving up. It's time to move it now. It's time to turn this up. Nobody's stopping now. Nobody's giving up. It's time to move it now. It's time to turn this up. Nobody's stopping now. Heading into round number two of this title fight. Touch of hands, back to work for both Michael Badato and 2-2. Badato again, as he did in round one, trying to work from the outside, trying to work off of that long jab. Good sequence from 2-2, finishes with the outside kick. 2-2 looking for the oblique kick. There's the jab from Michael Badato. Overhand right, nothing there from 2-2. Badato then the head kick, stepping in with the elbow. Another big elbow from Badato. Counter left hand from 2-2. Badato with the right hand. Things heating up, opening minute round number two. Yeah, Badato really turning it on here in this round off a mistake by 2-2, caught him off balance and then just rushed and landed a lot of good elbows and did damage up there against the ropes and then got out of that clinch and didn't take anything back really. Low kick from Badato, another low kick. Over the top, missed by Tutu. Hard low kick. Tutu making no attempt to check those kicks, just eating them full force in the thigh. Check that kick. Three was too many. Short headbutt from Tutu. His first headbutt of this fight, now to the inside. Joe, this is where Tutu feels he will have the advantage over Michael Badato. And that's what we saw in the co-main event. You know, Badato's having a lot of luck at range. He's doing an excellent job in the kickboxing portion of this fight. But this is a lift we fight. And when it turns into that kind of a fight, we're seeing Tutu take advantage of that clinch and landing headbutts already. Tutu trying to get to the inside. Can't get the head kick through. Can't get the second one through. That's clearly a slip. Immediately ruled as such. Sixty-five seconds remaining round number two. Between rounds one and two, Badato's corner calling for more elbow strikes. Carries that hook to the body. Tutu continues to throw the head kicks to no avail. Badato feeling good about things thus far. So far this has been a great round for Badato. He's keeping it his style of a fight and he's capitalizing every time he catches Tutu off balance. Landing some really good combinations, just being the more active fighter in this round as well. Good left hand from 2-2. Left hand right back on the jab from Badato. Right hand, Badato cut over his left eye. Low kick again from the Australian Michael Badato. Left hand from 2-2 and a right hand, then the headbutt to the inside. The volume definitely being turned up right now between these two fighters. Closing stages, round number two. 2-2 with the jab. Good left hand from Tutu. It's a snap left from a tough angle from his waist. Badato missing badly with that kick. We are headed to round three. Some of the action from that round there. Badato was able to control from the outside early in the round, but Tutu made it a good round as he came back on him and later in the round landed some good headbutts. Caught some damage, looks like we got a cut over Badato's eye. Another close round. Very good job of aggression coming out early against Badato, not letting the fight being taken to him, but Tutu answering back like the veteran and Lithui that he is. Was able to land some really good shots towards the end of the second round. Some of the elbows there from Badato. Over the top, another good one. Action packed round. Plenty of highlights to show after a round like that. That's what you expect in the main event, Sean. Good round between both guys. Lots of action. Let's see if Badato can keep that pace.
seconds out, seconds out. Headed to round number three of this title fight. To the winner goes the currently vacant WLC middleweight championship. Between rounds two and three, Michael Badato's corner telling him, throw headbutts, reminding him, this is left week. Use the headbutts. Inside kick from 2-2. Badato with the early forward pressure here in round three. Again, trying to work off of the jab. New orthodox, the right-handed stance. Snap jab from 2-2, just off the mark. Snap jab right back from Badato. Badato cut over his left brow in round number two. Also a slight mouse forming in round two under Badato's right eye. Badato smiling as that kick landed unchecked. They've slowed down a little bit here for the third, Sean. Definitely Badato didn't come out nearly as hot as he did in the second round, but they're both settling in now, and this is a five-round title fight, so. Heavy shots now from 2-2. Just as I say that, 2-2 two -two starts coming in aggressively. Big knee, down goes Badato. Surely that's a knockdown, and no. Ruled as a slip, and 2-2 two -two landed the knee. Michael Badato went down immediately. Second time Badato has been down in this fight, dropped in round one. That like this, knockdown ruled, not a knockdown, but a slip. No complaint though from 2-2. Two -two. Badato down there, that's definitely ruled a slip. Yeah, but I think Tutu has him hurt to the body a little bit, and, and, he, and it looks like he knows it. He's really going after Badato now. He saw Badato's reaction to one of the shots he took, and now he's really started opening up with his offense. Tutu definitely picks his moments. Does it in this fight, does it in his career. Down and natural does it slip. Again, this is fight number 49 of Tutu's career. Never been defeated. Be a remarkable accomplishment for Badato to take this title while defeating the great 2 2. Nothing settled yet. 145 remaining round number three. Outside kick from Badato. Inside kick from 2 2. Badato off the jab. Hard outside kick from Badato. Then spins, gives his back. Head kick from 2 2. Across the halfway line now of this, our main event, WLC3 Legendary Champions. You'd like to see some more leg kicks from Badato because when he's tearing into that leg, Tutu doesn't seem to check him all that much, but then Badato seems to abandon it and start going back towards other strikes. Badato's mouth coming open here in round number three. Definitely breathing heavier. Good left hand from Tutu. That is the end of the third round. Some of the action from that third round. That straight left of Tutu it comes from a funny angle. It's, if you're not used to seeing something like that, you're going to get caught with it a lot. And that's what we've seen from Badato. That's been a really good weapon for Tutu in this fight. That kind of awkward jab from a funny angle. There we see some of the action when Tutu felt like he had Badato hurt to the body and was really pouring it on, trying to get him out of there. Definitely did some damage. Started making Badato fight more on his back foot and less comfortable out of his normal kickboxing range. It's been an action-packed fight. Seems like Badato might be slowing down just a little bit, and Tutu's coming into his comfort zone in his, in his set of rules here in Mimar.
seconds out, seconds out. Round number four. Two two starting to really take control of this fight. Definitely landing the heavier strikes. Michael Badato though finding success time and time again with the jab from distance and full credit to the Australian Michael Badato. Tremendous success throughout his career in kickboxing. Coming to Left Wee, making his debut in World Left Wee Championship against Two Two. Along with Tun Tun Min, Tutu considered one of the two greatest fighters currently in this sport. Still nothing decided, nothing settled. Two fifteen remaining, round number four. Good left hand in the right, and there Joe, we see the example of the flashes of power of Tutu now leading with the head, smart headbutt. Yeah, right after he heard him with the hands, Tutu came in with a couple really good headbutts there. Immediately started backing Badato up. That, that seems to be the story for Tutu. He hits you with power, and then once he gets you, he really gets on you. That was a slip. The volume belongs to Michael Badato, but the power strikes, the significant strikes, belong to Tutu thus far. Left hand. Kick checked in the left hand. What a clever combination. Badato with the elbow. Snap jab from Badato. It's been his most effective strike in this fight. Yeah, he's had a lot of success with the jab and the leg kick, and you heard his corner in between rounds there telling him, you know, lead everything with the jab, and I think that's why they've seen the success with, his, with that strike from him. 2-2 two -two not getting that roundhouse kick through. Hard outside kick from Badato. Cut left for out in round number two, but that cut has not been a factor. It's going to do a good job stopping the flow of blood. Right hand from 2-2. Final minute round number four. 2-2 two -two with the jab. 2-2 two -two comes forward. See the head movement from Badato. Trying to slip, trying to duck. Sneaky jab. High inside kick. Landed legally. There's the left hand. See the swelling under the right eye of Badato, that mouse. Good right hand from Badato. Swelling now under the left eye of 2-2. Two -two. For significant marking that we've seen on 2-2's two face. That left, left eye swelling badly, lands the right hand, lands the power once more. 20 seconds remaining round four, the left jab from Badato. Seems like every time Badato starts to get into a rhythm and land some good strikes, 2-2 two -two really slows him down with some big power shots, and we just saw that again. Snapping the head back of Badato. Very good job by Tutu. Both these guys really leaving it all out there. This is a lot of action for a long fight. Badato slips down to one knee. Ordered to stand the bell. We are headed to the fifth and final round. There we see Tutu catching Badato coming in with that left hand, really snapping his head back. Then the left hook there, right over the shoulder of Badato, mixing it up well. Both exchanging jabs there. We've seen that a few times in this fight. Both guys getting their head snapped back with a jab. 2-2 two -two gets the better of that exchange with a nice clean right hand. Right on the chin, you can see it turn the head of Badato. And there they go, exchange left hands again. Really good matchmaking here. This is a great fight for a main event. You bring in a former world champion to take on the main guy in your sport in Myanmar. Just overall, it's been a really good showing from both guys, and we can see the damage on the face of former world champion Michael Badata. World champion Badato in kickboxing, trying to become a world champion in left wing. That mouse about to pop Joe under the right eye of Badato. Swelling on the cheekbone and then the mouse, the pocket of blood directly under his right eye. Slight swelling under the left eye of Tutu. One well-placed headbutt by Tutu would definitely send that thing pouring down Badato's face, that's for sure. We saw that in the co-main event and I wouldn't be surprised if we see it here in the fifth round. You just saw the indication that we have reached the fifth and final round, the final round. 
of this stacked card. Eight fights in total here at Tuanan National Indoor Stadium in Yangon, Myanmar. WLC three legendary champions. Seconds out, seconds out. Seconds out called. To the winner of this, our main event, goes the currently vacant WLC middleweight title. Great show of sportsmanship, respect, and class between Badato and Tutu. And back to work, back to business. Tutu trying not just to win this title, to remain undefeated through 49 fights in his remarkable career. And again, Badato, debut in World Left League Championship. This is the 55th fight of his career, made his name, made his rep reputation in kickboxing, transitioning to left week. Showing flashes for 2 2, showing the real power shots. Still nothing decided. Now, this has been a really close fight, and it, it really comes down to what you just said is do you put more on the, the volume of strikes that have been landed or, or the power? Because I really think that's what this fight's going to come down to. Tutu's landed the harder shots. But Badata has picked him apart a lot from the outside, and it's been a really good main event. One minute gone, fifth and final round. See the bad swelling under the right eye of Badato. Slight swelling under Tutu's left eye. Snap jab again from Badato. Tutu paws in his face, lands the one to the left in the right hand. Tutu back to the jab, nods at Badato as he comes forward. Just misses with that inside kick. Left hand from Tutu, left right back from Badato, then the outside kick. Swelling becoming more and more significant now under Tutu's left eye. Good left hand, short and sharp from Badato. Then left to the body. Tutu answering back with the left hand. 70 seconds remaining in this title fight. Both these guys know this fight's closer. They're really letting it go out there. And just like we've seen a lot in this fight is when Badato starts to touch Tutu, Tutu will snap his head back with a powerful shot. It changes where the fight goes. And now we end up in the clinch where we're finally seeing some headbutt work from these two. Tutu smartly, effectively landing the side headbutts. Naive to think that there was no skill in headbutts in left wing. There was a lot of skill in headbutts. Skill in that left jab of Badato. Left hand, then the right, then the head kick. Big, powerful sequence from Tutu, the right hand. Great job by Tutu and great timing here near the end of a close round. To land such a big combination like that, that could really put the judges in his favor in this fifth and final round. Elbow, then back to the snap jab from Badato. Low kick from Tutu. Final stages of this fight. 10 seconds remain in our main event. Badato coming forward off of the jab. 2-2 two, two to the body, the left hand, the left jab. Badato comes forward. Another left jab. Left hand from 2-2. Two, two, a thumbs up, the hug. And that is the end of a really impressive and really hard fought main event. Yeah, very competitive fight there for our main event and a title fight. Everything you could ask for. Here's some of the action from the fifth and final round. Badato making 2-2 two, two miss, but then 2-2 two, two coming with the big left high kick. Great setup there by 2-2 two, two coming over the guard of Badato. Saw a lot of this in the, in the round and in the fight was just that jab from Badato. Did a really good job with his jab and his low kick. But when it came time for the more powerful shots, it seemed like 2-2 two, two took the advantage. The scorecard being tallied. The judges will determine who becomes the WLC middleweight champion, Michael Badato or Tutu. And Joe, you nailed it. This is about the volume striking of Michael Badato or the power striking of Tutu over the course of five rounds.
Yeah, it's going to be interesting to find out, you know. Each judge could put that emphasis a different way, you know. Um, clearly, Badato's uh, face is showing the wear, but now so is Tutu's. Tutu's left eye is almost completely shut from that jab of Michael Badato. And so it overall was a very competitive fight. And we're just going to see what the judges think here. Who's taking the belt home? Was it the volume of Badato or the power of Tutu? Really impressive from both men. Both acquitting themselves extremely well here in our main event of WLC3 Legendary Champions. That is what is at stake, along with an extremely significant victory. Will either be career win number 43 for Badato, career win number 36 for Tutu. Let's end all suspense with our ring announcer, Mike Markham. Presenting the title to the winner, Une Win, Vice Chairman of the Myanmar Left Wave Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your winner by unanimous decision. And now, middleweight world left weight champion from the red corner, two. Now undefeated through 49 career fights, and he is the WLC middleweight champion, victorious over a hard-fought five rounds in 15 minutes. Tutu defeats Michael Badato. The belt is now his. The dominance continues for 2 2. In our main event of the evening, the winner, by way of unanimous decision, 2 2 defeats Michael Madato.